Hey, hey, hey. It's Sunday night. Time to come on in and focus our energy for the week. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here. Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on in. Time to focus that energy. Take a deep inhale. And join me as we pick some cards. And we look to see what the energy is all about for this week. Holidays are over. Time to get back to our routine. Time to really start to open up. Come on in and join me. We'll do a little meditation. We'll focus our energy and we'll pick some cards. Drawing from the Wild Unknown deck. Yes, back to the Wild Unknown. I know last week we did the animal totems, but this week we're back to the Wild Unknown. So come on in and join me. I got some thumbs up there. Yay, let me know that you're here. Let me know that you're aware of what's going on out in the world at large. How's everybody doing? Did you pick a word? Or as we talked about last week, a vibration. Mine is about allowing. Instead of all that pushing and trying and running around, it's trying to allow. That's the vibration and that's my word for this year. What about yours? I'd love to hear what some of your comments are about your word and your vibration for this year as we move forward. Yes, how is everybody doing? Got a new setup here, kind of grounding, a little bit warmer as we move into this winter season. I'm on a little bit early tonight. Winter, I have to go to bed early, so I wanted to get this started a little bit earlier as well. What about you? Do you notice you get in bed earlier? Yes, I think it's really important. So come on in and join me as we talk about what's going on this week. We've got some great energy to really get action done. Things are going around now that's really good. Mercury retrograde is done. We're out of that energy. You might be noticing some of those decisions coming forward. Time to do some action. And actually all the cards we do tonight is all about taking action and being in that physical plane. All right, shared, yay. Allow is your word and your vibration. All right, I love that too. Definitely, excellent, thank you. Thank you for sharing. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna do the same too. Let's see if I can find it on Facebook, share it out. Maybe there's somebody out there struggling that needs a little help, needs a little guidance, that would be really good. All right, two seems to be, by the way, the card of choice this week. Very interesting when people are drawing the same card. That doesn't always happen. So I kind of like that. I love the card too. All the cards really this week have to do with that physical plane, getting things done, which really is in perfect alignment with the energy and the cosmos this week. What have you been noticing? Was it hard to jump back into the work week? I actually was kind of glad. I was really glad to be able to focus and get back into the work week. For me, it feels really good. All right, I got a few hearts there on that. Yeah, I think it's important. To me, only so much I can deal with in terms of being loose and pajama days, although I do love them. I really do love pajama days, but it is important for me, I think, to be able to get out to as well. All right, I'm almost done here. Sharing it out and do the same. That's really great if you can. Here we go into the Empowered Spirit Circle group. If you're not in the group, come on over. We have a lot of fun stuff going on. I know soon I'll be doing even some abundance work and manifesting. Got some lot of posts and articles. So come on over and join us. The link is above. You can hit on that link and come in and join. As long as you're into learning spirituality, I would love to have you in the group. Definitely come on in and join us. Okay. So I've got that shared. I'm good. How are you? What are you noticing? What are you noticing right now? All right. We talked about last week that energy of the 11 master year. Hey, Sean, come on in. 11 being that master energy. And we're going to see a little bit more of that this week. We're actually going to have one 11 towards the end of the week. And that's even that vibration again coming in. And so we're really, we really have so much great energy, especially that intuitive energy, that spiritual energy coming forward. We had that big old full moon and we're sandwiched right in between the one that comes up at the end of the year. So this week is really about letting go, releasing the excess emotional energy. I know this one got me 
just all that holiday energy and all that full moon. So yes, it was a lot about doing my yoga practice, doing my meditation, cutting cords, releasing all that excess energy. And we want to do that because the moon's going to build up again. All right. And we have a new moon coming in next week and we've got the eclipse season starting with that as well. So if we carry all this excess energy, if you don't do anything to get rid of it and then that other moon comes in, you're going to be even double whammy with all that emotional energy. So this is an excellent time to let it go, to really clean house, clean the emotions, cut the cords, release the energy so that you can start fresh. We're here right here at the beginning of the year. Very important. How do we do that? How do we start fresh? Actually, I do talk about this. My podcast, it's a little delayed because I'm... Um, Changing platforms, I'll be on Lipson very soon. You'll still be able to find it on iTunes, actually Apple Podcasts or the Android. And because I'm switching podcasts, we'll have a little bit delayed. But my first episodes right away, we talk about how do we do this? How do we allow? How do we get in that vibration? We talk about how to do it in a very basic way, creating a sacred space. We're going to talk right at the start. Like, How do you create that sacred space? Get really simple. All right? And then we talk about... Creating rituals, starting with a morning ritual and building on that. And then one I really love is creating a work ritual. All right, all too often we do this meditation at home and we keep it kind of sacred and keep it kind of in within. But this year, all about moving it out, out into the workplace, out into your everyday life. Really important that we start to do that. So those podcasts will be out soon. You'll be able to find them. Subscribe, look for me, find it on my website, Empowered Spirit Show. <laughs> empoweredspiritshow.com and those podcasts will be out soon because this is key. This is key to getting in touch with ourselves, to really listening, to opening up to that master vibration, to learning how to let go. Really important. And most important, how to listen. How to listen to that deep guidance within ourselves. And we're going to focus that meditation today on that. How do we really do that? All right, we want to integrate the moon energy, we want to be able to release it out of the body, and we want to be able to bring new energy in and set up those practices so that we can hear the guidance, because right now is a great time to start building some of this work for you, to get out of that old energy, all right, we don't want to carry that around, and to open up. All right, got to love your podcast. Thank you, Alexandra. Alexandra, I guess that's how you say it. Hey, A, good to see you. Hey, Adrian. No. Andrea, I got it. Give me a thumbs up, Andrea, for that one. All right, got it there. Good to see you. Fun meeting with y'all today. All right, so the energy is expanding. We're definitely out of that mercury shadow, all right? It's gone, so you may find that some decisions that you've been wondering about or thinking about, now is the time to make them. Now is the time to move forward. And as we start our work week, yes, you can be very productive this week, all the way through to the weekend, very productive, focusing Really getting into those things that maybe you kind of slacked off with towards the end of the year. It's only normal. But that really is important now as we move through this work week. To start getting these things done. We're in that phase of the moon where we want to let go. We want to release. We don't want to hold on to energy. Really, really important that we don't hold on to the old energy. We work with Mother Earth, all right? We've had a lot of cold. A lot of just crazy weather. I know down here in the south it's been super cold. Up in the northeast, really cold. So that does help us to come in, and that is exactly what the winter energy is about, pulling within, pulling that energy and that spiritual guidance in, and also, too, about creating creating that spiritual practice, all right? Really important that we build that practice little by little each and every day. So look out for those podcasts. They'll be out this week. You can listen in on how to create a sacred space and how to build those rituals for yourself. All right, we got some more comments. Three, one. All right, so we got some great cards to look at. Very excited to share these with you. Hey, Heidi, come on in. Congratulations on your yoga training coming up in the new year. All right, I did want to share a spiritual experience I had this morning. And actually, I feel like I might even add these into my podcast, talking about spiritual experiences. Have you ever had one? Have you ever had an experience that really just left you like, wow? I had one this morning. I was sleeping and I kind of woke up and it was too early to get up. So I put my sadhana music on and went back into my dreams. And I remember in my dream, I was kind of walking around. I didn't really know where I was. And I said, all right, I'm going to close my eyes and be guided to where I need to be. I'll find my way. And so I remember closing my eyes and walking. And when I opened my eyes, there was my teacher, Catherine Barley. Catherine showed up today. Catherine passed away almost five years ago to the day. I mean, another couple of weeks, five years ago. 
my first teacher, a great mentor, part of the sanctuary with her, she showed up. And I kept asking her all these questions like, Catherine, you were, you died. What, what, what are you doing here? And she would just kind of smile and like, ask her like, how did it feel to be under, under the ground? How did it feel to die? What's heaven like? I was asking her all these questions and she was just there in front of me. So real. And she was smiling at me. And then she opened up this manual and it's a manual I've been now creating my new program, the spiritual leadership program. Yay. Which starts this weekend. The retreat is full. It starts this weekend, but she had my manual and she was reading it and she had this amazing amazing look at me like I'm so proud of you like this is great and it just made me ha huh, feel so good and so empowered finding those signs and what I was doing it was so real and it was so happy she shows up every once in a while and I feel her energy around me but this was like she was there it was so real all right lots of hearts maybe you've had an experience like that and I'd love to hear about it. in fact I feel like doing a little storytelling on the podcast so you look for that if you've had a spiritual experience of that nature that has helped to empower your spirit let me know yes it was so beautiful the fact that I closed my eyes to get where I needed to go and she was there love it love it love it love it love you Catherine yes I've learned so much I know many of you've heard me talk about her as my teacher so spiritual experiences right now dreams visioning all is exactly what this season is calling us to do it's what this new year this full moon all right this month of January it's like the biggest full moon moon energy because we start and we end with the full moon and we have that new moon coming up in between yes we'll have to get uh Yes, a spiritual experience hashtag. I love it. We're going to have um, Laurie back on the show very soon talking about going forward. All right. So if you haven't drawn a card, think about it. One, two, or three, the wild unknowns. We put that energy out there. But before we do, let's just take a moment, ground our energy together as we prepare for this week. So wherever you are, if you can, just take a moment, close your eyes, take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Send all of that excess energy away. Imagine it going all the way down deep into the earth. And as you inhale, bring fresh, new energy up from Mother Earth. She's cold. She's fresh. She's alive. Bring it up through the body. And exhale, send it all the way back down deep into the earth. Inhaling and exhaling sending that energy all the way back down pulling in your energy from the weekend inhaling all the way up through the crown up into the heavens and exhale just pulling it all the way back down deep into the earth feel your feet flat on the floor and take a moment as we open up to divine spirit call in your masters your teachers call in your spiritual guides ask that they work with you and through you to guide you and support you as you move through this week let's just take a moment and honor this season of winter we sit in the direction of the north that's where we do our dreams our vision and the energy of the elders come in so we honor the north the east the south and the west above us below us right into the very center right into our hearts asking for anything less than light to be gone. And only that highest vibration come in for you now as we center our week, center our energy. Take your hands for a moment, rub them together, and just place them right on your ears. And just block off all the noise. Listen to the silence for a moment. Inhaling and exhaling all that chatter away. Bring all your energy very close in. Pull the auric field in. Pull it in. Close off the sounds. And begin to notice what you hear. Is it chatter? Is it quiet? Can you hear your own guidance? And just allow yourself to get really quiet. And as you do, ask the question, what is my guidance for this week? Take a nice deep inhale, release the hands, open up the ears, open up the eyes, open up the knowing, open up the emotional heart so you can bring in this energy and be guided throughout your week. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel yourself centering the energy, feel that connection with the heart. Pull the energy back in, pull it in, 
Feel the feet on the floor, sending that energy all the way down deep into the earth. Focusing on the now, letting go of the past. This is a week to focus on your work, on yourself, and how you can co-create with the universe right now. Drop the struggle, let it go, and open up to fresh energy. Inhaling and exhaling. Coming back, bringing the awareness back, opening the eyes. All right. So the cards this week are pretty amazing. They're all in the pentacles. The pentacles is our money, our work, our ability to create on this earth, everything that the universe is telling us to do right now. All right, so if you drew the first card, number one. Number one is the five of pentacles. So this card has a little bit of sadness to it. It's actually a little bit about healing. Like there's some work to be done. There's some change going on. All right, being that it's pentacles, there could be some change in your work. Maybe even a little bit of a loss of work or loss of a job. All right, and there needs to be a little more healing that needs to be done so that you can move forward. Generally, when something like this comes up, there are lessons that still need to be learned. So what are those lessons for you? What can you learn from the past? Not carry the past, but what can you learn from? Honor it, appreciate it coming forward. Change is good, nothing lasts forever, right? Where can you embrace this? Having a little more loving kindness for yourself and the situations in your life. So sometimes, again, this could represent a change in jobs, a loss of a job, a loss of money, all right? So it's not a bad thing, but we have to open up to understand what's underneath it. That's the key, all right? So see how it's a little bit of crying, looks like a tear from the rose is coming down. Maybe you need some time to process what you're going through. Don't try to move too fast, all right? Know that when you do, you will open up to something even greater. Yes, that's the key right there. Opening up to what is next, all right? But take some time to process. Don't move too fast. We have a tendency to want to do that. All right, the next card, which seems to be everybody's favorite card tonight, or this choice is the Two of Pentacles. Love this card. Butterflies are about transformation. Two is duality, all right? Look at that infinite possibilities right there in the center. Look how it crosses over the rainbow, all right? This is all about moving forward, creating that abundance, continuing building. You've started on a new path. Keep going. This is confirmation that you're on the right track. Butterflies are transformation, so maybe it may feel different, that's okay, all right? Just keep doing what you're doing, really important. Keep moving with it, and just like that way that the butterfly flies and floats and goes through transformation, have that ability to allow that energy to keep building for you. Keep focused, though, really important. Keep focused. Got a lot of hearts and thumbs up for that one. All right. The next card is a beautiful card to follow this. This is the Mother of Pentacles. All right, this is all about that nurturing energy, being responsible, all right? Sometimes we don't want to be responsible. We want to have a new dream or a new path, and we just kind of want to stay in that illusion. This is bringing it into the physical form. The Mother of Pentacles, she can be very nurturing, very, very um, in with the earth, all right? See the little baby there, but the key here is to make sure that you focus on your stuff. Don't give your power over to so many other people taking care of everybody else. Still be responsible, still be grounded, very important, but continue to do your work. Continue to build it. This is a great opportunity to be diligent, to be routine. Again, routines are very important right here for this to build that energy again of the pentacles. So building that work that you've set forth already in this new year. All right, so if you drew one of these cards, where does that sit for you? And the universal card is the Sun of Pentacles, another pentacle. How amazing is that? All right, so the Sun of Pentacles is also that creative energy too. It's also about doing the work. It's someone that can be very meticulous in the work. All right, problem, the only issue here with the Sun sometimes is not to get too nitpicky with what you're doing, but still bring it in. Again, that responsibility, the routine, the building, the practice, all of these cards are pointing to that same thing, all right? Even this too, it's like do a little bit more processing of what you need to, to let go of that energy so that you can move through that change and go back to building your abundance. 
All right, the two is already about building that up, all right? And if you've drawn that first card, know that once you do, this will come up for you next. The ability to transform your life through this new project, through this new work that you're don't doing. It is building, but you have to be diligent. You have to do your work. You can't just dream it into existence. That's part of it. I'm not saying it's not, but we also have to do the physical parts too, all right? Got a lot of hearts on that one too. And then for all of us, for all of us, all right, don't get too crazy and all the nitpicky stuff, all right? Be able to go forward, connect with nature. I know it's cold, but we still need to connect with Mother Earth out there, all right? The cold is actually good for us, all right? I know. It's going to break a little bit, so hopefully you'll be able to get that release too. But know that we have to do the work, all right? Really, really important. All right, take a deep inhale. We drew a lot of twos. A lot of people were doing it. If you didn't draw a card and would like one now, I have a few more minutes. Let me know. We can bring some forward. So I'm really excited. The Spiritual Development Leadership Training Program kicks off this weekend. We've got the whole retreat booked up. We're starting with the Reiki 3 Mastery. Very excited for that. Very excited for Alabama and all the changes that will come forward as well. Super happy to doing it. All right, Thelma, I see you. Regard to a new relationship. All right, and Laurie too. All right, Thelma, this one is for you. All right, this is about the Daughter of Swords. So Thelma, if you're in a new relationship, be careful not to overpick it. Like the daughter of swords is one who sees all the details. Be sure to be able to pull out a little bit, but there is a lot of things going on. So there's a lot of energy around. So you do want to get a little bit into the details of what it is with that relationship, but don't nitpick it to death. All right. Especially if it's a new one, allow for the energy to unfold. The owl sees a lot. All right. So pull back with your perspective on it a little bit. All right. No relationship is ever perfect. We all have our stuff. We have to choose priorities in it. All right. So make sure that you don't nitpick it to death. All right. Open up to what is out there for you. All right. Thank you, Alexander. Yes, my new class. Very excited. All right, Laurie, this one is for you. Here we go. How's that wrist, by the way? All right, Laurie, we drew the Six of Swords. All right. Six of Swords is about old energy. It's time to let it go. All right. So, Laurie, for that situation, it's time to let it go. There will be something to come out of this. It may not be seen right now. But as you let it go, let the energy dissolve. Send some Reiki into it, all right? We talked about this using that long distance. Send some Reiki into it, but look at here. It will clear, and there will be a blessing in there undisguised, all right? So try to pull back a little bit. Get a little bit of perspective. Send some Reiki into it so that you can pull out of it a little bit, all right? And then look for ways that you can help that release so that that lesson will be coming forward. One of the things you could do, Laurie, too, is offer gratitude for the situation instead of fighting it. Offer gratitude. Thank you for showing up. Now, what's the lesson? That way, it will help you to surface. I think that's a really good way to do that. All right? All right. Amy, how you doing, Amy? A card for you. All right. Here we go. All right, Amy, a seven of pentacles. All right, this is about building your work, building your craft. Everything is lining up for you. So keep doing what you're doing. Look how the lines are lining up both ways. Look how it's building up. All right, seven can also be about spiritual energy. So don't neglect your spiritual practice, but keep building that as well. All right, you're on a good path. Keep it up. All right, great. All right, keep it up. Take a step back from time to time and make sure that you're seeing all the things that are there and all the possibilities for you. Don't take it for granted, but it is building in a great way. Look how it's all lining up. I love that. All right. Excellent. All right. So we had some great cards here. A lot of people chose that too, which is all about that transformation and building that practice, which is really what this week, this energy of this week is all about. It is all about getting things done in the physical realm. We have the opportunity this week. We've had some fun. We've had some parties. We had all that retrograde. Now's the week to get productive and do it. So if you're dreaming new dreams, Start putting the steps down that you need. Spring is a time for manifesting, but we can start building it now. Build those dreams. Dreaming is really important right now. So look for my podcast to come out sometime this week. It's on Libsyn, but it'll be available on the Apple Podcast. Some great ways to create a spiritual practice for yourself. We're going to start right there at the very beginning. And then I've got some great guests coming right out as we start. All right. All right, Amy. Right on. Very good. All right, all you guys, those of you that I'll see this weekend at the retreat, super happy for this journey. 
Got a Reiki one coming up. If you're interested, it's on January, let's say July, January 21st. You can find information on that on Natural Forces Studio website. Come on over to the Empowered Spirit Circle. Join us. Lots going on in there. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale away. The last card we draw is the strength card. All right, that was the bottom of the deck. And that's the card that we also can apply to our work as we go through this week. Strength is all about having both parts, that infinite possibility. It's also about the yin and the yang, both. All right, find the gentleness in your heart to open up to your week. Get your work done. Have a great week. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what those vibrations are for you this week. To your spirit, thanks for joining me. Namaste.